When you're looking through the viewfinder of life, sometimes you just need to reach out and feel the whole world. This is the feel world. And this is the FW703. It's a seven inch little monitor right here. This is an LCD uh, and it is designed for either professional use or prosumer use. And it's gonna replace your LCD on your camera, your camcorder. Um, hell, you can use it with your Area Alexa if you want to, if you're, if you're wild and crazy. I imagine some of you guys are just going to want to spend 10 times as much just because that's what you do. But you don't really have to. You can get something like this Feel World. Um, it's not going to be as expensive as some of the big name brands, uh, but the performance is going to be right up there on par. So let's just go through some of the features and specs, and then I'll actually grab a handy cam and we'll show you all the functions right here on the device while it's powered on. So first off, um, the amount of pixels, right? So it's 1900 by 1200 that's the, the pixels on here, uh, it'll take a 4K signal and it will display that right on here. Now there are a few different modes you can do with this. You can just do the standard mode. You can also use this with anamorphic. So if you guys think you're making Blade Runner and you want to get cool, you can use this with your fancy lenses just fine. You also have an input and output for SDI and HDMI. And uh, you can use this as a pass through. So if you wanted to, you know, if you're running this in a studio, you can have one of these on the camera and then you can run that over to a larger monitor or a capture rig or something like that on the side. And, you know, being able to use it as a pass -through, pass through is pretty cool. We could even do that here in the studio, put this, which is what we're probably gonna do. I'm, I wish it was over there so we could see better to focus because the that little viewfinder is almost impossible to use when it comes to focus. Now, speaking of focus, there are several different things that they've done to help you out here. First off, you got your histogram. Uh, you have your peak meter that'll show up like, this is not good, I'm peaking. Um, but you also have your focus assist. That's gonna actually put some sparkles around the edges where there are contrast to show you that that's in focus. Uh, and having a big screen like this plus the focus assist will make it more foolproof when you're trying to make sure everything's crystal clear. Uh, you can do image flip. We also have a grid on here that's really important to make sure you're lining up your shots and we have a nine grid going on so you got plenty of quadrants. Quadrants? Be nine, what's, what's nine? Nidrants? The pixel density is 323 on this and it's decently lightweight. Above and beyond that, um, the color reproduction on this has to be good or else I mean, it's, it's useless because if you're going to be using this with something professional, you need to be able to see an accurate representation of the colors that you're going to be capturing. A lot of people say do it in post, but do it in the camera and then do whatever else you're going to do in post. To make sure that the color's nice, it's an IPS display giving you a 160 degree viewing angle. So I used to use the uh, 709 color standard, and that's just pretty much your professional color standard. It's factory tuned. So they actually calibrate each one of these things before they send them out of the factory uh, to make sure that they fit uh, correctly in the standard and give you the best color uh, above and beyond that you got a 1200 to 1 contrast ratio and last but not least the brightness is 450 nit so we got our controls on the top got your inputs here on the side the sdi are inset so thanks feel world for doing that so we don't have the cable sticking way out uh, it's going to be more minimal and subdued so it's 320 grams pretty lightweight uh, it comes with a hot shoe mount in the box right here and it's a, it's a ball jointed hot shoe mount, so you can angle it any way you like. Uh, it'll work pretty much with any standard hot shoe mount. We mounted it on our tripod stand uh, just fine. Got a sunshade in the box, so when you're outside, comes with an HDI, HDMI in the box. It's um, mini to regular. A lot of you guys, if you're using certain DSLRs, especially like ours, you'll need a micro to a regular HDMI. You have to order one of those. You got 12 volt AC. Uh, we grabbed one out of the office. There's just plenty of them floating around here. And as far as the battery goes, you can use several different battery sleds um, and you know, it, it, it can use adapters and that sort of thing. It's compatible with the very standard F970 battery. And we've got these on all of our cameras. Just, just, these things are all over the place. It's got the two little holes in the bottom and you just pop it on. Compatible with multiple different types of batteries and the actual lifespan uh, is gonna be dependent upon the size of your battery. Or you can always carry around that 12 volt AC adapter. Wear a battery belt if you want to and plug it into this thing. One thing that's weird is no matter what battery we plug into this, it always says 40% when it starts. Is that 40% of the 100? Or is that 100% of the 40? That's that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this thing in action. All right, our different menu. As you go through here, you can see you can adjust the brightness and the saturation and all that sort of thing uh, to your heart's content. And you can even go down and adjust the color bands. Go down and change this around a little bit. Four by three, 16 by nine. Got some zooms, if you guys wanna zoom in and take a look at it. Um, Panorama, auto, just leave it on auto though. 
Now we can do a USB firmware upgrade, which is nice. Turn the backlighting up or down. Okay. Cool. Green screen, check it out. Set it up for green screen, set it up for red screen, blue screen. White screen, jeez, nice. No signal from blue screen. That, that's really handy to be able to do right here. Huh, why didn't they tell me they could, I didn't know we could do this. And then just check out some of our options here. There's our nine grid. I guess I'll turn on the nine grid. Overexposure, let's turn that on so we can see what's overexposed. Uh, you can set your exposure level. Turn our nine grid on. There we go, there's Whoa, our nine grid. It's a grid. Whoa, I've got it set up. <laughs> this is not the right aspect ratio. Is it, or is it? Maybe it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There we go, that's better. It was pulling all the way up. To, you've got the black bars unless you're doing, because it's 16 by 10. So we got the black bars there for 16 by nine. And then we've got our focus assist there that we can turn on and off. But I'm gonna keep it on because I need that. All right, so uh, if our stuff just starts looking a little bit better, you know, this is my, probably this thing right here, you know, making things nice and sharp for us. I don't really have much to complain about. It even has a built-in speaker, so I, I don't know who's going to be using the built-in speaker, but it, you got it if you want it. But that's it. Feel World uh, FW703. Grab a t-shirt, would you please? I'm trying to think of something negative about this. It just does what it's supposed to do. I feel like it's kind of a one-sided uh, overview of this thing, but it's really helping us, so there you have it. See you guys on the website, epicpants.com. And we'll see you guys in the forum.